Whoa, Africa. I've always wanted to come here. Welcome to Mombasa. Transfer to Africa provides all enlisted men automatic promotion to the rank of lieutenant. Congratulations. Company C and D will report to barracks 12. Company E to barracks 9. The rest of you go to the train station immediately. You will continue on to Lake Victoria and join up with your unit there. So much for a pass on a hot meal. Your tickets provide free transportation on regularly scheduled trains. Excuse me, we're headed for Victoria. You're the last one. Remy. All right. Look about. Wait, wait. That's the train to Mushy. Hey, that's the train to Mushy. Okay, we should be passing Mount Kilimanjaro on our left any time now. You mean on our right, you just passed it? No, no, that must be some other mountain. We're headed for Nairobi, so it'll definitely be on our left. Are you sure? Trust me, if that were Mount Kilimanjaro, we'd be headed for Mashi. Trust me, he says. Mr. Boy Scout with his back. How could we wind up on the wrong train? Look, what's the difference? Let's just try and get back, all right? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sedia, Sedia. Sedia, Sedia, Sedia. We, we go Victoria. Ah. Uh, you missed this train. Train? Take go Longido. 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 Longido, take go Nairobi. Nairobi, take go Victoria. Longido, Nairobi, Victoria. Victoria. Asanta, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, he's at the next train to Long Hito. That's us. At this rate, we could run to Victoria. Not go, Sambara! Go, Long Hito! At least we're going in the right direction. Let's hope. Okay, as near as I can tell, he's riding ahead to bring back a repair group. How long will that take? A week. Mon dieu, we can't wait a week. We have to report to our unit. I know, I know. Okay, look. If that's the way to Longido, then that's north, right? Well, according to this map, there's another rail line about 10 miles east that runs parallel to this one. So all we have to do is walk 10 miles that way and hop another train. Well, it's either that or we wait here for a week. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's... 
In the wrong place. Indy, if the sun sets in the west and we are walking east, then the sun should be over there. You pinhead! I can't believe it! If the Germans don't get us, the Belgians will shoot us both from this ocean! I die of hunger thirst before that happens. <sighs> Do you hear music? Rossini. Indy. Am I hallucinating? Germans? I can't tell. You notice something strange about his name? I'm really old. Had some butterflies, Mr. Golem? Matata. Might be German spies. We're not German spies. An American. Put her there, pard. Texas? New Jersey. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, son. Uh, what's with the funny uniforms? We are Belgian soldiers. Who are you? You are a British unit? 25th Royal Fusiliers. Great. Now that we know we're on the same side, we'd like to see your commanding officer. The general needs seven men with various specific skills. He's let us very clear on that point. I can't just show up one man short. Understood. But where in blazes are we going to find someone with an intimate working knowledge of trade who also speak German? Captain? Who the devil are you? Lieutenant de Foss, and this is Lieutenant Bedouin, Belgian Army. Belgian Army? They just came straggling in off the veil. I'm afraid we got lost trying to join our unit. And we're about a day late getting to Lake Victoria. Damn. That's 300 miles from here. When you boys get lost, you don't mess around. Excuse me, sir. Have we met? But I'm aware, Captain Zalu. Good to see you again, sir. Good to see you. You... you don't remember me. I guess I was about nine years old. Henry Jones, Jr. Son of, son of Professor Jones? Yes! You were lost then, too, I recall. Well, this really wasn't my fault. We thought we were on the right train, and somehow it was the wrong train. Then we got on another train, and, well, that train broke down, but well, I guess it was the wrong train anyway, because here we are. Easy for you to say. You don't appear to know much about trains. Well, actually, I know a lot about trains. I spent my summers working shoveling coal on trains, but that really doesn't teach you much about the timetables here in the middle of Africa. I see. I don't suppose you speak German. <laughs> but again, that really doesn't help me get to Lake Victoria. We really need transportation north to the Belgian lines. Can you help us? Oh, dear, you are out of luck. Our supply truck isn't doing for weeks. Sir, how about the general? 
Now, there's an idea. We were just about to visit our dear friend, General Smarts, on the beach. Why don't you come along? I'm sure he could fix something up. A trip to the beach? Sounds great. That's settled. Donald, the staff car. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. We really, really appreciate this. Oh, yes, we do. Think nothing of it. Shortcut, sir. By all means. on the beach. Germans seem to have General Smuts pinned down. Hang on. We're going to have to play a little dodgeball. You know Major Minot Sargon, British intelligence. I've not had that pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure is entirely mine. Well, I'm surprised to find you here, General. I thought you'd be the Moradoro by now. The trouble is, every time we try to make a move, the Germans hit us with something big. I mean big. The shells leave craters 50 yards across. Sounds like a naval cannon to me. 380, most like. 380? 380 millimeter cannon designed by Jerry for his battleships. It fires a two-ton shell 30 miles and has a barrel 50 feet long. 30 miles? Mother of mercy, they got a battleship out there? That's just it. They're not hitting us from the sea. They're shelling us from inland, somewhere around here. Inland? Yes, and it's hellish and mobile. It's not just us, it's all our positions within a 100-mile radius. Gentlemen, if you had the biggest cannon in the world, and you wish to bedevil your enemy by land, how would you do it? I'd mount that sucker on a flat car and ride the rails like a hobo out of hell. Right. The German railroad is 30 miles inland. You can bet the farm that's where she is. Captain, I see your men haven't lost their edge. They're the best of the best. Right, your lot, form up. Birdie so. former merchant marine, former lighthouse keeper, expert on all things seagoing, including naval artillery. Bill McMillan, former Rodeo man, wildcat miner, demolitions expert. Big Mac to my friends. Mr. Goller, best tracker in Africa. Zoltan, ace mechanic, expert with knives, best clown in Europe. Donald Parks, former secretary to His Majesty, former British intelligence, expert strategist. Henry Jones, Jr. Expert on trains, fluent in German. Gentlemen, on behalf of His Majesty, I thank you all for volunteering. Huh? Volunteering for what? Gentlemen, we haven't a moment to lose. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, sir, sir, sir. But, 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 no, 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 General, 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 
you know, you know, I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm in the Belgian army. All the more laudable. I'd write a letter of commendation to your general, Tom Boer. The Germans are sending up reinforcements from the south. They are arriving in six days. If we're still on this beach, we are done for. Six days? So the good Lord made the world in six days. Let's blow it up a cannon compared to that. Finding the thing that's the tricky part. I've sent men, I've sent aeroplanes, I've had every inch of that railway scoured and still nothing. Don't know how they're hiding it. It's a phantom train, my friend. We'll give you all the explosives we can spare. We've got plenty here. Whew. Damp air don't do this stuff much good. Should be OK. As long as nobody sneezes too hard. Oh, yeah. Whatever you do, keep this stuff dry. Ain't going good to us wet. What, you expect me to carry these? Forget it. You can't just Shanghai me off on some mission. <laughs> you heard what the general said. We're all volunteers. I didn't volunteer. Then I order you to go. You can't. I'm not in your army. Don't spit, Dad. The answer's no. I'm not going on some suicide mission with a bunch of creaky old geezers who belong in a retirement home. I'm a captain, your lieutenant, and order's an order. All right. This might come in handy. Remy! Fred, you're back! What took you so long? Things have gotten a little more complicated. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Just tell me we are going to join our unit before we get caught martial. Of course. Of course what? Of course nothing. We're going back to our unit. But? But first I have to run a little errand. What? Look, Remy, it'll take me a day, two at the most. What errand? Look, I don't have time to explain. Hey, wait a minute! What's going on? There's nothing to worry about, I promise. better. I'm supposed to be in Victoria with my regiment. Instead, I'm out here. Life like that, you plan one thing and up pops another. Gotta roll with the punches, son. Take her as she comes. Ain't that right, friend? Mm -hmm. How do you expect to pull this off? What's the plan? <laughs> Youngsters and their plans. <laughs> What's wrong with plans? Nothing as long as you're willing to adapt when they don't work out. He who survives is he who thinks on his feet. Oh, make it up as you go. Oh, boy, that's great advice. Yeah, I mean, when I was your age, I never thought I'd wind up here of all places. One of us did, I expect. True enough. There I was, young man riding the rodeo circuit. Well, one night in Abilene, I drew to an inside straight and won myself a used-up ruby mine in Africa. Thought, what the hell? I jumped a freighter, came over to see just how used up that old ruby mine might be. So how'd you all wind up in the same unit? All us creaky old geezers. <laughs> <laughs> when war broke out, nobody would have us, so we formed our own. Bad thing about going old, my boy. The world thinks you're used up, no good to anybody. Total waste, really. Spend your life gaining wisdom and experience. And then nobody wants it. Yeah, that's great, but we're talking about blowing up a train. True, we're not as fast as we used to be, and the bones do creak from time to 
time to time. But age and treachery will always triumph over youth and speed. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Twenty mile. I shall like the beach again. I told you not to get this wet. Shouldn't even be on the ground. Look at how damp that is. I'm sorry. Sorry don't mean diddly, son. What if these things don't go boom when they're supposed to? What are you gonna tell them 2,000 boys getting shot to pieces on that beach? Sorry? When are you gonna grow up, dumb kids? Are they damaged? I don't know. They might be all right. These detonator caps look awful dicey, though. Won't know till we try to set them off. Dumb kids! In one ear and out the other. Bertie, give me a dry rucksack. when most of their men will be asleep. And then we'll just stroll through? Something like that. Here, put on this German uniform. I think we'll make convincing Germans. Just how convincing depends on you. Oh, no, 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 this will definitely never work. They're bound to ask questions I can't answer. This uniform doesn't make any difference. When I was a lad, my Austrian housekeeper taught me the loveliest old song. Anyone here know old Tannenbaum? Sorta. Of. Excellent. You three win a drink. What? Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie grün sind deine Blätter. Du grinst nicht nur zu Sommerzeit. Nein, auch in der Wildersteinzeit. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. Mein Gals, wer in Norden ist, ist dann nicht so gläusergig. Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. in an hour till dawn. Captain, as we're here, I imagine we could use a few things. Wouldn't hurt to nose around. That's your speciality, Doc. Well, sir, I suggest you proceed to the railhead and take up a coordinating position there. We'll split up and join you in ten minutes. Oh, but staying in camp? Isn't that pushing our luck? You'll never know what might come in handy. Like what? Well, what could possibly be so important? Toilet paper. Mmm, that's always useful. Toilet paper. I can't believe we're risking our lives for toilet paper. Leave no outhouse unplundered. That's why I'm the general. I had to do it. You're making for longer as insect. I shiver. Germans should take their toilet paper seriously. So do we. Daimler, look at those lines. Should we steal this car? Quite. God, they're in the beach again. 
Hurry, lad! It's a lot closer than last night. and intercepts again some 20 miles down. Birdie, you and Indy take the flat car. We'll approach in two different directions. And, and me and the kid catch the train halfway right. Duma, nice. Yeah, the gentlemen do seem to have a knack, don't they, sir? <laughs> Doing this? I helped you start it, didn't I? Stop complaining. That's it, I've had it. You never stop complaining. It's on the side in next to ours. We could hit it by spitting. Fire! Birdie, cover your ears. Oh! Holy oh. oh, them. I hope they don't do that again. It's moving. Come on. I think that train should have passed us by now, sir. Yes. Pull forward. Right. There's nothing this end, sir. I don't understand this. Where'd they go? It really is a phantom train. I can see the car. Well, I see the others. But no train. No train. Sorry, the mirror. Flashing message. Morse code. Meet us halfway. Bring toilet paper. 
There's nothing along this five-mile stretch of track but a few dead-end sightings. The train doesn't just vanish into thin air. What kind of toilet paper is this? Real toilet paper's about as rare as snowballs in Kalgoorlie. They use whatever comes to hand. Documents, memos, invoices. Once delivered, it goes straight to the outhouse. It's a tremendous boon for our intelligence purposes. You are like gypsy, reading tea leaves. But what am I looking for? Anything unusual. Twelve barrels of salted pork, 300 pairs of boots, 40 kilometers of telegraph cable. None of this stuff makes any sense to me. What? What? What did I say? Some way of communicating with the bloody thing, didn't they? Dalton, try the other side. I found it. Yes. Cliffs. Gentlemen, the Phantom Train. I'm a car down the end, two there, and two in the breach. We're gonna knock this sucker right off its mouths. We're gonna crack that damn barrel up one side and down the other. That's only five bundles of dynamite. Where are we gonna put the others? That we're gonna use on the engine, and you're gonna show us where to put it. That's why we brought you along, Mr. Train Expert. <laughs> Schmidt, radio. Eine Nachricht. Erwache die Mannschaft. 
Jawohl. Achtung, Mannschaft aufstehen. Befehl Nummer 573. Schnell! Finish up. Set the time off for seven minutes. Right. It's locked. Well, we should be safe enough down here, all right? What are you talking about? The whole mountain's about to blow up. Trouble. Did he say five minutes? Could have been four. Better make it three. Come on, Zoli, let's go. Come on. What you guys waiting for here? The door's locked. We can't stay here. The whole mountain's gonna blow. That's just what I said. It's too late for anything. We gotta do something! I'm panicking. Alle Truppen haben sich sofort am Three, two, one! What happened? Nothing. I know nothing happened. Hold the timer. We have to go back. Correct. You and Matt go and reset the timer. The rest of you cover them. Indy, come with me. Okay, what do I do when I get there? You always have to have a plan. It helps. Stall. Don't let this train leave the tunnel. Now, now. Hurry. Schulz ist krank. Der Kapitän schickt mich in seinen Platz. Follow me. Make some room on 
Ball. Us? Was hast du gesagt? Rob? You two! Look out! Was ist los? Gentlemen, good work in there. Okay, okay, now what? You're the train expert. Oh, great, me and my big mouth. Okay, throttle. This is the brakes. <laughs> Cannon didn't blow up. Oops. Oh no! That's what you get for letting my detonator caps get wet! What are you doing? We're going back, aren't we? We can't let him have that gun. Yes, of course. You'll wait for my orders next time. Shut all those 
those charges. Why set them off? Why don't we keep going straight through the German lines? We can take the cannon back to the general. Hey, the kid's right. It would be a lovely gesture. Are you making this up as you go along? Yeah. Right. Well done, then. Well, boys, we just hijacked ourselves a train. Think that they just blew up the tracks. They must have telegraphed ahead. We should have cut the damn cable. Did I also mention the whole damn German army's coming down the road? What choice is there? We give them their train back. Maestro, a little steam, if you please. If I hadn't gotten those detonator caps wet. Donald? Sharps. Sharps. There you are, sir. What? Bullet? What are you, crazy? That's got to be 500 yards. Nobody could make that shot. Not true. I'd say there were at least three people in the world who could. I used to be the best shot in Africa once. According to you. That was a long time ago. <laughs> You're only as young as you feel. Gentlemen. If you would care to follow me, I think some refreshment might be in order. Ah. Andy! Andy! Remy! 
You said you'd be gone for a few days. That was a week ago. Something came up. We blew up a train. I heard. Does this mean you're a hero? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. Wonderful. While the British pin a medal on you, the Belgians will shoot us both for desertion. Colonel von Letto is our biggest nemesis and the greatest military mind Germany has ever produced. So far, this man has been like a greased shadow. This could be the one opportunity we've been waiting for. According to my source, he is located about 35 miles southwest of our position, just here by this little lake. I know it's a lot to ask after what you've just been through, but I doubt we'll ever have a chance like this again. Thank you, General. Well, gentlemen, what do you think? Sounds like an extraordinary opportunity. I should do it. All in a day's work. Remy, Remy, relax. Relax, we're ten days overdue. I'm a married man. Sick of my poor children without the father. Remy, I'll get this taken care of. These are great guys. Trust me. Oh, Lieutenant. The men were just telling me about your invaluable contribution. You have my thanks. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, the thing is, though, General, we were hoping you could write us a letter explaining what happened. A tardy apology to the Belgian army. Mm, of course, we deserve it. And if you have any transportation heading north, because we really need to get back to that railhead. Oh, you don't want to go that way? No, certainly not. Why? It would take two weeks to get there. <laughs> More like a month. They're right. What you want to do is travel about 35 miles southwest of here, down to this little lake here. You can veer north there. Southwest, that would take us right to the heart of German territory. Mm. Well, of course, you'd be in disguise. Fred, there must be something you can do to help these lads. You can't send them out there on their own, can we? I suppose I could loan them my tracker, Mr. Golo. Hakuna Matata. Oh, now, don't be so stingy. These boys done us a good turn. I, I, I think we should all go. Right. See them home safe and sound. But it's the least we could do for them. I agree, absolutely. It's settled then. Help and courage, the destruction of the German train would not have been possible. I love that part. I've heard it a hundred times. Put it away before you lose it. What's with you? So, you a hero. Me, I'm wearing this stupid dress. <laughs> Why couldn't you be the woman? They didn't have my size, all right? And I didn't have your figure. Besides, I think we make a good couple. Sure, we're going to fool the Germans, as long as they are blind and don't ask me to dance. Oh, this ain't so bad, horse. It's kind of roomy, in fact. You can't tell like you Frenchy. I'm not a Frenchy. I'm a Belgian. You ever tell anybody you're a dead man? Hey, look there. Dust. Mr. Gollum, Paul. Betty, you better get undercover. Looks like a courier. Must be one of Von Leto's. Who's Von Leto? Uh, some German, I guess. Might be helpful to read his mail. Yes, it might. Well, do you, you can't shoot him. Of course not. Just untied the sun. I wouldn't do that. Mon Dieu, he's a lady. That's more than I can say for you, Fatso. Great disguise. Margaret, are you all right? Oh, you know her? Our mother was one of the finest aviators in Africa. The finest still. Let me help you out. Uh. Uh. You've picked up some interesting habits. When did you start shooting women at random? I don't. I shot your saddle. 
Oh, that makes you a gentleman. I was right, sir. They're communicated for Bon Letter. Is he around here? Because we'd like to avoid him if possible. Am I your prisoner? Of course. But we take good care of you. Does your mother know you've become a courier for the Germans? It was her idea. Your little affair aside, she has no love for the British. Well, that goes without saying. You'll get nothing from me. That also goes without saying. Well, if you change your mind, Margaret, grunt. Ah. Well, <laughs> she answered all our questions with a terse invitation to go to hell. Infuriating woman. <laughs> She's stubborn, like her mother. Once on a hunting expedition, just to prove she was braver than the men, she crept up behind a grazing rhinoceros and wrote Pumbavu on it. She wrote idiot in Swahili on a rhino's butt? In chalk. Got to admire that in a young lady. Yeah. I suppose she'll have to eat. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. What a fellow. Always ready to sacrifice for his comrades. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you some food. Pardon me while I swoon with gratitude. You're welcome. You know, is this pleasant? Being shot off my horse usually puts me in a foul mood. The day got worse from there. It wasn't my idea. Don't be modest. I'm sure you enjoy tying women up. Look, I'm sorry you got mixed up in this, but we can't have you giving away our position to the Germans. As soon as we get far enough north, I'm sure they'll let you go. Are you gonna take a bite of this? <laughs> I don't know what's worse, your cooking or your lying. Hmm. We'll never catch him. He's far too brilliant for the likes of you. Catch who? What are you talking about? Fine. Play dumb, it suits you. I'm not playing anything. Me and my friend are just trying to get back to our unit. We're in the Belgian army. The others, they're just helping us. If you say so. I think one bite was quite enough, as was your company. I'd like my gag back, please. Fine. Try to be nice to some people. She didn't eat? According to her, your food stinks. She said that about my cooking? Maybe I'll have a talk with her myself. Remy, Remy, don't get her started. It's a waste of time, and you'll regret it. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. She said something about we'd never catch him. What did she mean? Can't fathom. Oh, woman must be suffering under some sort of delusion. Not quite the rich, my dear, but that can make good company. Absteigen, den Wagen durchsuchen. Durchsuchen. Seid ihr nächsten Tag für Siedler sind? Los, zack, 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 zack. Komm, Kenny. Gut, Kenny. Der Wagen ist leer. Sag ich doch, wir sind Borussia Siedler. Ist das deine liebe Frau? Ja, ja. Sie, sie guckt gut, wie ihr Mutter. Stimmige Weiber. 
Wir arbeiten gut auf dem Feld. Ja. Schade, dass sie so protestlich sind. Well, looks on everything. Ich habe die Spione auf der Patrouille erwischt. Mistake me for someone else. No mistaking Frederick Salou. Hunter, soldier, worthy opponent. You've been nipping at my heels for two years now. Not that it did us any good. Last time we crossed paths, we're at the Karoo Mountains. Brilliant flanking maneuver on your part, if I might say. Send us packing in a hurry. You're very kind. It's an honor to meet you face to face at last. The honor is entirely mine. See they get a good night's rest. Feed them. Take good care of them. Shoot them. Wonderful! Brilliant! Fighter. I've told you this stupid disgraces wouldn't work! It's disguises. These guys, the disgraces, these guys don't matter. Look what you've got me into. Oh, great, so now suddenly it's all my fault. It's not suddenly your fault, it's always been your fault. You are the one who got us lost in the first place, idiot. Well, you're the one who listened to me. What does that make you? A bigger idiot. That's what I am forever, listening to you. Gentlemen, please, some decorum. And you are the biggest idiot of all. You are addressing a superior officer. What are you going to do to me? Court marshal me? Now, now, there's no cause to get all riled up here. Calm down. Hmm. So far, so good. War mir schon immer lieber. Danke. Well, I don't know what you're saying, Sport, but uh, enjoy the cigarette. Uh, you won't need the gun. Only the keys. Sorry to have kept you. Well done. What took you so long, Bertie? Trucks outside. Reckon we nab one and slash the tires and the other. Ugh.
minute, this is the Colonel's tent. Leave the pistol where it is, Colonel. It's a kidnapping. You had this planned all along. Of course. Well, why drag us into it? I needed you. You're my good luck. But you lied. Would you have come otherwise? No! no! Well, there you are, then. Colonel, if you please. Version. You go that way, we'll see you at the trucks. Hey, yeah, yeah. You got a lot to learn about being a prisoner. This should do fine. Let's go and pick up the others. Shit! Haven't seen me out this balloon and balloon! Balloon? Balloon. Yeah, I'm still. 
Nicht schießen! Ich komme nicht weit. Vergesst die Lastwagen. Repariert lieber das verdammte Flugzeug. Das wird nichts nützen. Warte nicht. Das ist der Pilot. I've mentioned lately, I'm sorry I ever met you. What sort of circus are your people running? They send rank amateurs to kidnap me? You don't have to get insulted. It's not our fault they didn't tell us the plan. Of course I'm insulted! How dare you be so unprepared? It's an utter disgrace! It's like kidnapping my father. Indy, we can't drift in this balloon forever. The first thing to do is to determine which way we're headed. If we're drifting toward the German side, you might start thinking of yourselves as my prisoners. Yeah, that's great, but we don't have a compass. What? What sort of imbecile crosses Africa without a compass? Don't they teach you anything? If you were my troops, I'd have you flogged! We're headed south. I'll accept your surrender now. You'll be fairly treated. South, huh? Give us that compass. Come on. <laughs> We're headed north, right for the Belgian lines. <laughs> That's wonderful. If we bring him in, that makes us heroes. They will probably pin medals on us. Assuming that you get me there. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Watch it! It's the whole German army! Just to pay. 
patch those holes. You didn't kidnap my father. It's a nightmare. Get the dog off, get out! Get out. You should be able to do that blindfolded. Shame the basket's too small for close order drill. Isn't it? Indy! Whose is it? German. You can tell by the sound of the engine. down. Commendable. I got him. Just in case a gun does to walk up on you. Walk up. What do you mean, walk up? Resting on the basket. I don't care about walking up. That is walking up. I will be as soon as I catch my breath. Look, I'm only gonna say this once, all right? I'm really sorry. Great. That was without question the most stupid act I've ever witnessed. I might even go so far as to say I'm awestruck. Nevertheless, we are here. What do we do about it? Proceed on foot. Find our weapon. What? The lions are not the problem. We are here and the weapons are there. That is the problem. Maybe we should climb in a tree? Next suggestion? One of us should go get the guns. Better. Any volunteers? Well, don't look at me. You shot us down. You do it. You are a born hero. The lions aren't dangerous unless they're hungry. Absolutely. They look well fed to me. Then why are they eating the guns? I hate when that happens. Act nonchalant. Animals can sense your fear. Just look relaxed. Then why are you walking backwards? It's just a matter of strategy. Yeah, yeah survival. Who's? Them or us? Boop, boop, shoo, shoo. Boop, boop. Got any more great ideas? Well, there's one last thing we can try. What's, What's that? Ruff! Schnell! Luffen! Ruff! It's working! Fudelka, Salbert! Fudelka! I could have done that. 
Is how you propose to go about it? With you up front and him behind? What's wrong with that? You do not march your prisoner between you. You put him up front where you can both see him. Now, suppose I did something unexpected, like grabbing you from behind. He'd shoot you. Oh? He'd shoot me, he'd shoot you. Because I'd spin you into the line of fire like this. <laughs> what good is that man behind you now? You're my prisoner now. <laughs> I'll thank you to stop accepting my surrender. After you. What is it? Dinner. Haben Sie ihn gefunden? Ja. Helfen Sie mir, das Flugzeug zu reparieren. The secret is toasting it lightly. If it gets too close to the flame, the outside goes black and the center runs out. I hate when that happens. So why do the British want you so badly? I'm a military genius. <laughs> no sense in being modest. None. I've run rings around the British now for two years. Constantly outwitted and defeated forces far greater than my own. So what makes you such a genius? In any given situation, you examine your options, weigh the consequences, and make your decision, keeping in mind the soldier's criteria. Which is? A soldier's first duty is to obey orders. His second is to survive. He may fail the second, but never the first. I think this is done. <laughs> no, thanks. Eat. Do you good. Keep your strength up. Having examined my options and weighed the consequences, let's get one thing straight. You're not gonna get me to eat a giant termite, so forget it. Good. More for us. It's not too bad. What do you know? People eat snails. You hear something? This is some kind of trick. It won't work. It's no trick. Listen. Look! Look up there on the hill. There's only one. Side? They're not on anybody's side. What do we do? Keep walking. Take it nice and easy. Pretend you're out for a Sunday stroll. Try and shoot us! 
I shot you, I'd be doing you a favor. I'm in giving him his gun! Stand back to back! First duty is to escape. The minus to stop you. You might make a soldier yet. <laughs> nice shot. I was aiming at your head. Well, then I take it back. Drop the pistol. <laughs> You drop yours. I'm not in the mood to bargain. You have nothing to bargain with. If you shoot the colonel, I will shoot you. But if I shoot you first, the colonel will be free. She's right. Correction, you could shoot me, but then Remy would shoot you. The colonel would still be a prisoner. We're outmaneuvered. No, they're not. The Colonel's army is just over that hill. They'll be here any second. Nice try, but I'm not buying. Ah. The wind shifts again. What do we do now? This calls for clear military thinking. Examine your options and weigh the consequences. Option one, we shoot you both and try to escape on foot. Consequence, your army tracks us down and kills us. I'm not sure I like that one. Option two, you and Bullseye hop in that plane and fly away while Remy and I shout Bon Voyage. Consequence, we keep on walking and you turn your army around. How can you be said? I guess you have better things to do than to track down two Belgian officers trying to return to their unit. A soldier's first duty is to obey orders. His second, to survive. Since we were never given any orders, I guess we'll just have to survive. I'm letting you go, but just this once. Sun God. Good luck getting back to your lines. Thanks. We'll need it. You need more than that. Perhaps, my young friend, you can make use of this. Are you sure you can use it? We've been working for two days now. You sure this is a good direction? I'm not action? talking to you. You just don't care about my wife and don't my children. Don't holler at me. Oh, no. Them again. Need the lift? Where are you aiming for, Jack? Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria? Well, that's where we're heading. Can we give you a lift? We promised to get you back safely, and a promise is a promise. 
great. <laughs> Gentlemen, we've had this very interesting request. I think we can reach the upper reaches of this plane today. We might be able My to poor do it. Suzette. I'll never see her again. Thank you.